Hello, welcome page 15, open page 15, unit 1, life plans, listening activity, let's start. This is listening part, this page, we will do lots of listening. We will discuss these questions, what do you know about these people, these people, these are. G.K. Rowling, Sylvester Stolen, James Joyce. Can you match the information with each person? Blah, blah, blah. A. Was. F sorry. Hmm. Was a famous Irish writer. Blah, blah. Wrote Rocky. Blah, blah. Wrote the Harry Potter series. Series. Look. Let's have a look. I think this is A, this is B, and this is C. Let's see. Track 1.9. Hi, Annie. You look serious. What's up? I'm meeting the careers advisor this afternoon, and I've got no idea what I want to do when I leave school. No idea at all. None. Why? Have you? Absolutely. I'm going to study medicine at university, and then I'm going to be a doctor. Oh, lucky you. I don't even know if I want to go to university. Well, don't worry too much. You aren't alone. I read an article the other day about famous people who didn't find their perfect careers until they were in their thirties. Like who? Well, there was Sylvester Stallone, for example. That really old film actor? Yes. He was working in a delicatessen selling food. I think he knew he wanted to be an actor, but just couldn't get any work. So what happened? He wrote a film for himself to star in. The film was Rocky. Ah, uh, the one about the boxer. That's right. Well, it became one of the most successful... So, B is Sylvester Stallone films of all time and Stallone became an international star. Hmm, okay. So who else was there? Well, uh, J.K. Rowling, of course. The Harry Potter author? Yes. Aha, uh -huh. J.K. Rowling wrote the Harry Potter series. So, C. J.K. Rowling. J.K. Rowling. She was working as a bilingual secretary when she first had the idea for Harry Potter. She was 25 at the time, but it took her another seven years to finish writing the first novel and get it published. She spent many of these years living in Portugal teaching English. Yes, I think I remember reading that somewhere. And speaking of authors, there was the famous Irish writer James Joyce. Who? James Joyce. He wrote... James Joyce... A. James Joyce was a famous Irish writer. Ulysses, one of the most important books of the last century. Anyway, although he started writing in his 20s, he couldn't get anything published. So when he turned 30, he was making a living teaching and singing. <laughs> singing? Yes. Apparently, he had a really good opera voice <laughs> and made quite a lot of money from singing in public. When he was 32... He finally got a book published and became a professional author. Yes, but they all knew what they wanted to be. They just had to wait for a long time before it happened. I've got no idea what I want to be. Well, that's what the careers advisor is for. He'll give you advice. <sighs> I certainly hope so. Anyway, you don't need to worry. I'm sure you'll do well whatever you do. Yes, we have listened to the audio and we fill these blanks now. Grammar part. Feature tenses. Review part. There are three blanks. We will fill these blanks now. Use the correct future forms of the verbs. Present continuous, going to and will. Look. Present continuous, uh, as we know. Look. I am doing this. I am meeting my friends tomorrow. Hmm. We, pl we have planned this. So we will use present continuous tense to talk about future plans. Okay? 
future plans look be careful um going to look at the sky today the weather is cloudy right cloudy lots of clouds i see on the in the sky so i can say that oh it's going to rain look we need a proof okay we need a proof well uh, we know will we can use for the future tenses will i will be a teacher i will go to doctor tomorrow but maybe i will not go the negative form of will is once let's start i am meeting the carrier's advisor advisor this afternoon hmm actually we use continuous tense for the future while uh, meeting for the meetings we use present continuous tense okay number two i'm going to study medicine at university actually uh, about jobs future jobs we use be going to form i am going to be a teacher i'm going to study medicine at university like this yani tıp okuyacağım diyor genellikle meslek um, mesleki kararlarımız ileride yapacağımız işler için kullanılan bir kalıptır i'm going to study medicine at university well Genellikle başında I think, I hope, I'm sure gibi şeyler bulunur. I'm sure you will be, you will do well whatever you do. I'm sure, I believe that you will do well whatever you do. Let's look at this rule. To talk about future arrangements, we often use the um present continuous tense to make i want to do something huh. number one is present continuous tense to make predictions we often use be going to to talk about intentions we often use will Inten for intentions we use will for predictions we use be going to for future arrangements yani meetings we use continuous tense circle the best tense number one but first we will do a listening activity track 1.9 hi annie you look serious what's up i'm meeting the careers advisor this afternoon and i've got no idea what i want to do when i leave school no idea at all none why have you absolutely i'm going to study medicine at university and then i'm going to be a doctor oh lucky you I don't even know if I want to go to university. Well, don't worry too much. You aren't alone. I read an article the other day about famous people who didn't find their perfect careers until they were in their 30s. Like who? Well, there was Sylvester Stallone, for example. That really old film actor? Yes. He was working in a delicatessen selling food. I think he knew he wanted to be an actor, but just couldn't get any work. So what happened? He wrote a film for himself to star in. The film was Rocky. Ah, uh, the one about the boxer. That's right. Well, it became one of the most successful films of all time, and Stallone became an international star. Hmm, okay. So, who else was there? Well, uh, J.K. Rowling, of course. The Harry Potter author? Yes. She was working as a bilingual secretary when she first had the idea for Harry Potter. She was 25 at the time, but it took her another seven years to finish writing the first novel and get it published. She spent many of these years living in Portugal teaching English. Yes, I think I remember reading that somewhere. And speaking of authors, there was the famous Irish writer James Joyce. Who? James Joyce. He wrote Ulysses, one of the most important books of the last century. Anyway, although he started writing in his 20s, he couldn't get anything published, 
So when he turned 30, he was making a living teaching and singing. <laughs> singing? Yes. Apparently, he had a really good opera voice and made quite a lot of money from singing in public. When he was 32, he finally got a book published and became a professional author. Yes, but they all knew what they wanted to be. They just had to wait for a long time before it happened. I've got no idea what I want to be. Well, that's what the careers advisor is for. He'll give you advice. <sighs> I certainly hope so. Anyway, you don't need to worry. I'm sure you'll do well whatever you do. Yes, we have listened twice this passage. Now we will have a look at these questions. What's Annie's problem? She doesn't know what she wants to do when she leaves the school. Hmm. What does Ben want to do with his life? Ben wants to study medicine at university, then become a doctor. How was James Joyce earning a living when he was 30? When he was 30, James Joyce was making a living teaching and singing. Who? Living, teaching and singing. How are the examples of Joyce, Stalin and Rowling different to any situation? Think about it. How are the examples? The examples are different because they are about people who knew what they wanted to be, but Annie doesn't. Annie doesn't know. Why does Ben tell Annie not to worry? He tells her not to worry because she will do well whatever she does. Let's continue. Now we will circle the best choice. We will go or we are going to the beach this Friday. Do you want to come? I think. We are going to the beach, right? Because this is future arrangement. I don't think I will finish this homework. Look, do you remember? I think, I don't think, I'm sure, I hope you say like that. We use will. Blah, blah, blah to the university. I want to take a year off. Hmm. I'm not going. Predictions, look, prediction. I've got an appointment with, with a dentist now. I'm seeing her at 10 a.m. Look, I'm seeing, I'm seeing. This is an arrangement, right? Arrangement. Daisy is learning to fly. She is going to be a pilot. Look, I'm, I'm going to be a teacher. She's going to be a pilot. Familiar, similar examples. I'm not going to eat or eating chocolate that's my resolution for next year hmm. plan intention argentina will blah 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 the next world cup that's what i think hmm. this is prediction right actually this is intention or prediction this is prediction so argentina will win i guess argentina will win that's what i think Yani şunu demek istiyor. I think Argentina will win the next World Cup. We are flying. We will fly on Friday. So I'm so excited. This is a plan. That's why I'm. I, we are flying. Dum 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 dum. Blow. Yes. Upsi doopsi. They are all correct. Workbook page 11. Write down. Open workbook page 11. Write down two arrangements you've got for this week. Bu hafta için iki tane arrangement, plan, randevu. Two intentions you've got for this year. Bu yıl için iki tane niyet ettiğiniz bir şey. Düşündüğünüz, niyetlendiğiniz. Two predictions for your life. Hayatınız için iki tane tahmin, işte gelecek kariyerinizle alakalı olabilir ya da başka bir konu olabilir. Write <coughs> two for each on page 11. This is the end of our lesson. Have a good day.